Revenue. Seems like an easy one. Everyone seems to know what revenue is. Cash money, dollar dollar bills, <laughs> money coming into the company. Uh, so everyone, everyone seems to have a good idea of what revenue is as opposed to something like net income which people may not have heard of or understand. Cost of goods sold, selling general administrative expenses, those are maybe a little less used, but revenue everyone seems to know. There's a few important things about revenue uh, to keep in mind in terms of accounting so that you can be consistent with how you talk about revenue and how you recognize revenue and therefore when you're explaining to someone else uh, what's going on or in your own company or you're studying another company that uh, you can sort of speak the language. The first thing is, you know, of course, revenue is money coming in, but importantly, that's during a specific period of time. Uh, you have to say, you know, the revenue for last year or for last quarter or for last month. Um, you can't just use revenue as an ongoing thing. Uh, it's, not a, it's not a point in time. It is over a period of time. That's why it appears on the income statement. Um, watch that video if you don't understand that. So these are uh, other phrases that you'll hear people refer to revenue. Top line, they'll use. Gross income, they will use. And revs, you'll hear people say for short. So all that means people are talking about revenue. Uh, and it's the price times the number of units that you've sold. Um, this may be easy if you're selling uh, Hasselhoff Speedos uh, because they all cost the same amount of money. Uh, it might be a little harder if you're selling um, products or services that are priced at a different level. It's essentially just how much money is coming in over a period of time. So remember for the government, revenue equals taxes. Uh, and for nonprofit organizations, revenue might equal donations. So um, you know it comes in different flavors for different types of organizations. This is another important uh, subject, and we have a separate video on it, but I want to touch on it here. Revenue recognition uh, is important. The general, generally accepted accounting principles, or GAAP, revenue uh, is one way uh, that companies can sometimes um, choose to govern their, their accounting. Uh, and that means that they have to recognize revenue at a certain point in time. Um, so when do you recognize revenue? Of course, it seems easy. Well, when the money comes in, that's not always true. Um, there are different ways to do it. Uh, there's two different basic types of, of accounting that I'll hit on. I and mean, there's other ways, but these are the two most common. Accrual accounting and cash accounting. Um, accrual accounting is uh, you recognize revenue, meaning it shows up on your, your um, records, your company records, when the product or the service is delivered. So it doesn't matter when the person pays you, it just means that, hey, I mowed your lawn, revenue is recognized that day. Or I delivered a piece of software, revenue is recognized that day. Um, they may not pay you ever, uh, but you still recognize revenue. Um, then there's also cash accounting, which is when the cash is actually collected that you recognize it as revenue. This one tends to be more conservative than this one. Reason being, if you were to ask how much revenue did your company do last year and someone said a million dollars, oh, that's great. Well, what if they only collected 200,000 of that because no one was paying their bills? Um, that, that means that company might not be very healthy, but it's hard to tell from asking the revenue question. So generally, accrual accounting is slightly more um, aggressive and cash accounting is more conservative in terms of how you recognize revenue. Uh, and there will be videos on each of those. Uh, so if you want more detail about that, watch those videos. So we're talking about, um, well, let's look at revenue as related to other terms. It's important to sort of understand it contextually as it relates to other things. Remember that in order to figure out net income or profit, um, and, and watch that video if you want more detail, you start with revenue. Basically, to figure out everything on the income statement, every term on the income statement, you're going to start with revenue. Revenue is the, the building block sort of for most of these terms. So you're going to start with revenue over a period of time, and you're going to subtract cost of goods sold to get gross profit or gross margin. So this is a, a little um, example of an income statement. It's silly, you can look at these up online, but let's say that I had $100,000 in revenue last year and I had 50 grand from product one and 50 grand from product two, right? So I had 100 grand in revenue. If my cost of sales was 20,000, meaning to build my products, um, that was, it cost me 20,000 bucks, that would leave me with 80 grand as a gross margin, okay? So that's how you figure gross profit or gross margin. Actually, this would be gross profit. Gross profit is dollars, gross margin is a percentage. So um, that'd be 80% gross margin. Uh, oh, sorry, that's over here. So then if once you start figuring in expenses, you do selling general and administrative to find EBITDA, you subtract depreciation and amortization to find earnings before interest and taxes, and then you take out interest and taxes to get net income or profit. So th that's how the income statement works. Top line, revenue, 
bottom line profit. And what happens in between is how you tell what's going on in your business. And you can watch the income statement video uh, to learn more about that. Point is that revenue is sort of the cornerstone in the beginning to each of those calculations, which is important to understand. Um, everything flows out of how much money you have coming into the company. So it seems like a simple topic. Keep a couple things in mind. Um, it's over a specific period of time. It doesn't always look the same if you're not an act, uh, you know, a traditional business. And when you recognize revenue according to given accounting principles is also important.